Hey guys, it's Melanie and Alf. Um, he just punched me in the neck. It kind of hurt a little bit. Hey guy, you want to be a little more gentle? He still needs to figure out what he's what he's doing with his life. Oh, what a good boy. Can you can you? <laughs> no, you can't see him. We we're both totally wearing uh, black again today. So, um, fun fact: I have a ton of black and gray sweatshirts probably looks like i have a pretty limited wardrobe i don't like it's just all like black or gray it's, that's what it, <laughs> that's the season of life i'm in anyway all right you guys i have the weekly home fragrance roundup so we're going to talk about wax melts we're going to talk about candles we're going to talk about crocs lamps all of that fun stuff i have an update for you on Gladys LaFontaine, the Candleberry cookie jar. There were some changes that took place this week, so we'll discuss. Um, I have some Bath & Body Works candles that are new to me. I shared a Bath & Body Works candle haul. And um, yeah, I am in, like, it is full, like, spring, summer candle mode in my house, despite the fact that we totally got, like, six to eight inches of snow at one point this week it's been an interesting weather week for me but yeah you guys um let's let's get into it where do I want to start I want to start with what's currently in my crocs all right in my candle croc in the laundry room I have a Kringle country candle in the scent milk and cookies that was new to the collection this year and upstairs in my like back bedroom the, the pink room where I film a lot of my content um that particular room has a full size of the kringle country candle apple cinnamon i think it's apple cinnamon muffin i can't remember it's apple cinnamon something but um i'm sure you guys are now all aware that kringle is going to be um changing over the country candle line from paraffin to soy and I do know that a lot of you are like not excited about this change because you really like paraffin wax um I have to say I personally am excited about it because you guys know how I feel about the soy wax formulation from Kringle and I just think it's so much cleaner burning it is absolutely like you just set it and forget it like it's that type of candle and I love that because while I don't mind babysitting a candle especially if I really love the fragrance it's nice to not have to do that and whenever I light a Kringle soy candle I just don't feel like I have to even pay attention to it at all I mean I can't burn it endlessly but I can burn it for at least four or five six hours and not experience any issues and that is kind of unheard of with a lot of other candle brands even other candle brands that I can like am in love with right like I cannot burn a homeworks candle for six hours it's gonna turn into a messy disaster so personally I'm really excited about the change and I'm sorry to all the people who are not hopefully there are still lots of other companies out there that are selling paraffin wax I just think the soy it's just kind of a cleaner option. It burns better. And quite frankly, I get more oomph or strength and throw out of the soy candles than I do the paraffin. And like I said, it's just, it's a lot less messy. So I don't know. But I, I understand the reason for some people being upset. But personally, I'm super excited because there's a lot of gourmand scents in the soy candle line that I've wanted to form the paraffin candle line that I've wanted to move over to soy. And now they're in the process of reformulating all of those scents and just it's going to be so good. I'm so excited. So anyway, that's what's happening in the crocs i'm not using the candle crock in my bedroom this week underneath my candle lamp okay so you will have seen an in-depth review of this um i just took this out from underneath the candle lamp so i it's still liquidy i can't like tip this over to show you i'm hoping that you might be able to see can you see wicks probably not they're currently under the wax you guys this is the glass house one night in rio I couldn't even keep burning this. It wasn't an option to keep burning it. Like I didn't have an issue with like sooting or smoking or anything like that. My issue was the wicks just curled into the wax. Like they just, they offed themselves. Like 
they quit. <laughs> so I couldn't even continue to burn this. Now, the first time it happened, I did pour off the wax and was like, okay, well now, you know, like I might have a little bit of tunneling. I'll try to scoop some of the wax out. Pointless. They basically, the wicks just ate themselves. Like I feel like that's the best way that I can put this. You are just being the nicest. I wish that you guys could like have him staring up at you. It is the sweetest thing in the world. He's so cute. But yeah, this is just a disaster in terms of the burn. I love the scent. Love the scent so much, but I could not even get it to stay lit. So I don't know. It does leave a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth in terms of trying anything else from Glass House. Now I still have the, uh, the I think it's called Ataha Affair. Now that one I still need to review. It, the wicks on that one are still okay, but I can see it going the same way as uh, the other one, or I shouldn't say other one, the one that I'm holding. I think it's gonna end up where this one ended up as well. So I don't know. I will still get my money's worth out of this in terms of I'll be able to enjoy the fragrance, which like I said, I love the scent. It's a fantastic scent. Um, but I, I'm gonna have to use it underneath the lamp and that will give me some extended fragrance, I guess. So I don't know, I haven't had to pour off any wax yet this week. In fact, I think it might still, I think I might be able to get one more melt out of this. Oh, easily, it's it's still quite strong. This is. This is a pretty potent scent, I will say. <laughs> At least underneath the warmer. Couldn't really smell it when it was burning because, well, there was no flame. What else was I burning? Uh, now, yeah, now we're gonna get to stuff that I was actually burning. So that was underneath my lamp. So the lamp, the Crocs, all done. Oh, I didn't do my disclaimer because someone's gonna be like, what's, what's a candle lamp? What's a Croc? Check out the description box. Lots of links down there. I will put links for Candle Croc 101, Candle Lamp 101. I will put links for the where you can buy these things that I'm showing you here. Um, I will list all of the sales for the usual candle companies that I frequent. Um, it's not all the candle sales ever, but just you know my usual go-to companies. If there's any discount codes that I have, all that information is down there. All right, let's get into uh, some new Bath and Body Works candles that I was bur I was burning these this week. This is Among the Clouds, and so far so good with this one, but it does have those really thick thick wicks um you know what I don't know that I love this scent I don't think it's a bad fragrance I think it's just a like it's not a fragrance for me is um I think the moral of the story here it's kind of perfumey there's some fruitiness to it but it's just kind of an interesting combination um so this is wild berry skies and whipped vanilla clouds I feel like the berries that are in here are I just don't think that they're sweet enough for my liking. This is just kind of a strange scent to me when it's burning. Um, that being said, I think I liked it a lot better on cold sniff. I'm wondering about possibly melting this one. I don't know, I am gonna burn it at least to the halfway point and I might sacrifice it to a crock to see if it you know, changes the fragrance at all. Um, sometimes that happens, I don't know. But as, as far as like, is it burning okay? It is, it's, this is totally burning fine. By the way, right now in the kitchen, I have the lid for it here, I am burning Radiant Sky, which is so delightful. There is an in-depth review coming up tomorrow of Radiant Sky, so that's, that's what's on the docket tomorrow. Also on the docket tomorrow will be my thoughts on the Indigo Paradise. Um, this one, I am just about at the halfway point, so I think I might actually be filming the review of this one uh, today. A little bit later on, I'm gonna light it up. This is quite similar to Capri Blue Volcano, so if you like that scent and you want something that burns a little bit better, at least so far, so far so good. Um, this does not tunnel the way that the Capri Blue Volcano does. So anyway, having some good luck with my recent Bath & Body Works haul, so Two thumbs up there. Things that I finished this week from Homeworks. A banana daiquiri. Look at, there's like no wax left in here. You guys, this, I don't know how it like used up every ounce of the wax, but this is like the least that I've ever had left over. <laughs> there's the tiniest film. Um, it just kept evaporating, so. I don't know, but this one was great. In terms of performance, there is a sale happening this weekend. The sale information will be down below over at homeworks.shop. 
In terms of fragrances that I have been burning that are worthwhile in terms of good strength and throw, this one, I'm going to put that in that category. So if you're interested in it, it's worth a try. Um, the Sparkling Citrus. I also finished this. Now this one did leave a little ring of wax around the edge there. This one was so fresh and clean. This one I had a great experience with in terms of strength and throw. Now, when I say great, I don't mean that it, we're back to like a 9 out of 10 or even like 8 out of 10 in terms of strength and throw. We're not, we're not. I don't know that we will ever get back there with homeworks to be perfectly honest with you guys um i feel like you know i noticed uh brett pointed this out to me before there are some marketing things that i'm seeing where there is um the term gentle fragrance being used i'm not sure what that's supposed to mean i i mean i'm i'm not looking for gentle fragrance <laughs> i am looking for the fragrance to um i don't know probably give sensitive people headaches right like I, I like strong scents I try I'm mindful when people come over I am mindful just so you guys are aware I don't um have a bunch of candles going for example when my mother-in-law comes over because she recently had chemo and so she is sensitive to smells so there are no you know candles there's no wax melts going when my mother-in-law comes over I also try to air the house out just so that it's you know as like fresh as possible for her but when I am home alone <laughs> Or when my family's here because they don't mind like i i want to smell a lot of fragrance so um anyway um where's what's the oh i also finished this one this one's always a winner in my book what is it let's get it around to the label blueberry cheesecake i love it now this one did have um a nice layer of wax still left at the bottom but not bad at all this one got a little messy towards the end, admittedly, but I was also burning it for like four or five hours at a time. And I, I know that I cannot do that with Homeworks candles. Sometimes I get lazy or I walk away or I forget and then I come back and I, I find a little bit of a mess. Homeworks candles for me are lit between like two and three hours max. Bath and Body Works candles, two and three hours max. Um... Pretty much most candles except for uh kringle th those all like two to three hours and then i will blow the candle out and i will light something else i have a lot of candles like i kind of decorate with candles so throughout the day like i am blowing things out lighting other things and the the fragrance kind of evolves throughout the day all right let me tell you guys about a couple of homeworks candles that i am having a much lighter experience with because i don't want you guys to order these this weekend and then be disappointed expecting to get something that has a lot more oomph to it like this one for example the sparkling citrus for example this is hawaiian island you guys i really love this scent but she's quite light. Um, I'm almost at the halfway point, so I feel like I'm just about ready to review her. But it's, it's, this is a light scent, you guys. This has a same kind of like aquatic or marine type note that I found in the, was it Coastal Water Lily? I think it was the Coastal Water Lily. This has that same kind of like marine, almost slightly tangy type of note. And I love it. I love this scent. I'm super bummed that this one is not performing for me. So the notes in here are tropical papaya, passion, uh, flower, coconut water, and pineapple leaf. Um, there's no note. There, there's no note indicating that there is like a marine type note in here. But when you really stick your nose in it, like you can pick it up. Definitely share some similarities, uh, at least when I'm sticking my nose in it to Coastal Water Lily, which was another great floral scent Harry came out with a couple years ago. But yeah, I don't want you guys to buy this one with the expectation of this being like a six or a seven in terms of strength and throw. I would not even put it at that. So bummer. I do have a second one that I am putting away until the summer. Um, I received one in PR and one I purchased myself. Um, the one that I guess I received in PR or whichever, I don't know which was which, I just pick a candle and burn it. But um, the other one I put away in my candle closet upstairs and I'll get it out at some point in probably July. I'll try it again. I have had the experience that for me, Homeworks candles do intensify in terms of strength and throw the longer you let them sit. Do I think that that should be the case no you should be able to purchase a candle and have it be like ready to go ready to burn but i don't know 
for some candles i'm willing to work with it because i just love the fragrances so much but yeah anyway um this is another one where i would say if you are looking for a super strong candle this would not be the one i would put you towards also i am starting to deal with some shrinking wicks here i'm actually wondering if i might have to like cotton ball this i'm gonna light it up a little bit later on today because i also want to do an in-depth review of this and if i do have to cotton ball it i will let you guys know but you can see i'm definitely at the halfway point and um these wicks are wanting to peter out on me so i hope i can get through the rest of this candle it's a great scent um the fragrance notes on this one are pineapple juice peach nectar crisp rosé wine and fruit punch it's yummy like don't get me wrong like this smells delicious and i even like the pineapple that's in here unfortunately like i said she's lighter and now my wicks are doing a disappearing act with that one so i'm gonna have to play with that see if i can like resuscitate her and um yeah okay before we get into the wax melts i want to do my gladys update i'm going to take the lid off of her all right this is gladys la fontaine look i'm almost halfway done with her that's insane right this is a massive candle how well because like i just i light her most days <laughs> and i am able to leave her lit for on average between four and five hours however there were a couple days where i admittedly let her go for like eight and nine hours and when i started doing that i had the issue of carbon residue falling into the wax and now my wax is discolored so i don't know if now this is just going to keep doing it because it's done at the last couple burns even though i haven't had it lit quite that long again so anyway there you guys can you see that uh yeah that is basically just carbon residue from the wicks falling back into the wax i will say like it's not like it's not really sooty per se there's a little bit of discoloration on the jar there not a ton but i mean for as long as i let it burn those couple days like I, there was no way there was not going to be something that would collect on the jar especially since that carbon residue was like constantly falling back into the wax so i would say you can leave this lit comfortably at least for four or five hours um i think when you go much beyond that time frame you are going to potentially deal with the carbon the, the wicks basically just starting to disintegrate like i think it's just they're just lit too long um i think is what is happening here so anyway i am still not disappointed um you know me burning it excessively is a, it's a me thing it's not the problem of the candle she still smells like a million bucks this is vanilla crumb cake by the way and um it's very rich it's really delicious the strength and throw on this bad boy are fabulous even at the halfway point I am going to do an in-depth review of her probably at some point early next week because like I said, I will be at the halfway point and that's when I really like to review my candles. So um, yeah, I'm working hard on it guys, but I wanted to give you an update here in today's video as well. So she'll be getting lit up a little bit later on today because she smells good. <laughs> and I might like clean the inside of the jar a little bit. It does, it does have a little bit of a dingy look, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and clean her up and then we can kind of test from there to see if anything else accumulates on it. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, that's not really much in the way of like, so you're going to have soot no matter what. But all right, you guys, let's talk wax melts. Um, all right, some of you are going to be like, how long have you had that? And I've had it for a long time. Look what I found. It is a brick of sugar. Do you guys remember? When, look at how discolored it is. It's so discolored. I don't even remember when I bought this, but I found it and I got so excited. Oh, okay. This essentially smells like, it's very similar to Aqualina's Pink Sugar. I feel like this and Pink Haze are two very similar scents from Scentsy. Pink Haze, I think, is more of an Aqualina Pink Sugar dupe, but this sugar here is as well, so... Oh, it's just so good. It's very feminine, very girly. Stella loves this one. Um, it's super fun. I don't think it's currently out. If it comes back ever in bricks or a like bring back my bar type voting situation, just vote for it. It's really good. Especially if you loved Aqualina's Pink Sugar in the early 2000s. Hello, who did not? 
I'm sure someone's gonna be like, that is disgusting, that perfume sucks. You're a party pooper. <laughs> All right, um, the scent of the month, pink cotton. I really like this, this is delicious. It does have like a laundry, like a slight laundry based vibe. But again, this is more of like that pink, sugary, sweeter type scent. Co Did I say cotton? It's coconut. But I do get, yeah, I get, I get some, I get a slight laundry vibe out of this. More so when it's warming than anything else. But I get it. What I, what I don't smell a ton of, I would say is probably the cotton. But the pink part in terms of like that candied, like almost like cotton candy type vibe is absolutely like the first thing that hits you in the face. Oh, it's good. I like it. In fact, I am kind of tempted to put it in my club. All right, melon and apple granita. This was part of the bring back my bar this last go around. This is a great scent. Um, I, it's not good enough for me to put it in my club, but boy, is this fun and fruity. This is a lovely mix of a really fresh, juicy, sweet apple and like a cantaloupe. Or is it honeydew? I feel like it might be honeydew. Or a mix of cantaloupe and honeydew. I don't know, it just it smells good. It's good. If you put it in your club, you're a smart cookie. Um, here's another pink coconut, by the way. Um, and then I have, all right, here's a cucumber lime. All right. I actually enjoyed this one. I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I like this one quite a bit when I was warming it. Actually, it has a lot, quite a bit of like greenness to it. It's cucumber for sure. The cucumber kind of reminds me of the cucumber in the aloe water and cucumber, the one that they use in here. The lime was really nice. It was more of like lime juice, like sweet lime juice versus lime zest. Really delightful. Hello, sir. Oh my gosh, you guys. You cannot see him, and it breaks my heart because he's so cute. I just want you to see him. He's so cute. Here he is. You can kind of see him, I guess. <laughs> he's just so sweet. Um, anyway, that's delicious. Not club worthy. Oh, and here's another melon and apple granita. I think I bought like five or six of these. I remember liking it back in the day. So anyway, there's that. I have not warmed any of my new um candleberry wax melts that I picked up. I hope to pop those into the warmer um, this next week. So anyway, you guys, that's what I have for you today. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your weekend. If you're interested in the Bath and Body Works candle reviews, make sure you're subscribed. Um, those will be popping up in your subscription feed tomorrow. Give this video a thumbs up and be sure to check out the description box for all of the links for the um, where you can find these things, the sales, the discount codes, all of that jazz. So, all right, have a great rest of your day. See you in the next one. Toodaloo. <laughs>